Is this on? Check, check, one, two. Good evening, everybody. It's that time again. I hope you're not getting tired of this because I got a month more of this crap. What? No, yeah, no, one month more. It's me again. Show number 42. Dale Emmons from San Francisco. Vicki McBride from out on the west side. I got a reason to live. To wake up every day. Put on these fashionable clothes. And go on my merry way. I got a reason to do. The crazy things that I do. I got a reason to live. Oh, Vicki, it's you. Face the world with a smile. I wish that everyone could stand in my shoes for a while. I'd like to sing in the rain, dance down the avenue. I got a reason to live, Dale Emmons. It's you, you, you. Yeah, it's you, you. Just a hopeless dreamer, yeah, that's my story. Is that an electric eel? No, that's a more. Crazy things that I do. I got a reason to live. Facebook people, it's you, you, you. Yeah, it's you, you, you. I got a reason to live. I don't just sit here and mope. Nope. If at the end of the day. You're at the end of your rope. Then you should end up with me. I think it's time that you do. I got a reason to live. Everybody, it's you, you, you. Yeah, it's you, you, you. I got a reason to live, and it's you. I got a reason to live, and it's Brian Murphy. I got it. Oh man, interesting night. It's gonna be an interesting night. I am fully vaccinated and ready to rock. Paul Jones, give me another one. Shane, are you watching? I promise I won't say, I won't do, I won't be dropping any F bombs tonight, Shane. But I will say, I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling, but something's gonna happen tonight. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that something's gonna happen tonight. I got no reason, no reason for this feeling. I've got no second sight. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that something's gonna happen tonight. It could be good, it could be bad, could make us happy, could make us sad, it could involve a little. Funny feeling that everything's about to change. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that everything's about to change. A dark premonition, a dark foreboding, everything's abnormal and strange. 
got a feeling, I got a funny feeling that everything's about to change. Something's gonna happen tonight. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that something's gonna happen. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that something's gonna happen tonight. I'll be Adam and you'll be Eve and we'll do things. That you can't believe But we won't make the same mistake We'll throw that apple back to the snake We'll be Romeo and Juliet Where the final act isn't written yet They'll put us up on the silver screen Something's gonna happen tonight. I've got a feeling, I've got a funny feeling that something's gonna happen tonight. I've got a feeling something's gonna happen. I've got a feeling something's gonna happen tonight. Mark, Mark Kunkel said that my show was lovely. He's trying to get in good with me, so I'll switch to Team Mark. Still Team Peggy, Mark, but I'm doing your request anyway. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't curse anymore. I don't even drive in reverse anymore. I'm clean as a whistle, I'm always polite. But there's one thing I dream about night after night. It's something that always compels me to write. One more song about sex. One more song about cause and effects. Something to sing when we're both soaking wet. One more song about sex. admit there are times when I feel like a fool. I take a cold shower and wipe off the drool. Then there are times when I drop everything. I get a fever, my ears start to ring. And that's when I know that I'm ready to sing. One more song about sex. One more song about cause and effects. Something to sing when we're both soaking wet. One more song about sex. When boy meets girl and girl meets boy. And boy meets boy and girl meets girl. And boy meets another girl. Girl meets another boy. Everyone ends up in bed. Singing one more song about sex. One more song about cause and effects. Something to sing when we're both soaking wet. One more song about sex. They're all about sex. Well, my mom is ashamed. She says, boy, bite your tongue. There are so many nice songs to be sung. So for a while, I try to pretend until this feeling comes over me again. And I take off my clothes and I pick up my pen. And write one more song about sex, one more song about cause and effects, something to sing when we're both soaking wet, one more song about sex, one more song about sex, one more song about cause and effects, something to sing when we're both soaking wet, one more song about sex. Something to sing when we're up to our necks in it. One more song about sex. Something to sing when we're both soaking wet. One more song about.
It's your birthday. Maureen Morris from down there in Texas. I'm an idiot for your love. Just an idiot for your love. I'm not the man I was, and it's probably because I'm an idiot for your love. I'm incompetent for your love. I'm insignificant for your love. Just roll me out the door. I can't function anymore. I'm an idiot for your love. I would cry for you. I would die for you. I would never say goodbye to you. I would reveal for you. I feel for you. I would lie and cheat and steal for you. I'm insensible for your love. Incomprehensible for your love. You better cut me loose. I'm of a little or no use. I'm an idiot for your love. I would cry for you. I would die for you. I'd be straight or gay or bi for you. I would reveal for you how I feel for you. I would lie and cheat and steal for you. I'm an idiot for your love. Just an idiot for your love. Not the man I was, and it's probably because I'm an idiot for your love. I'm not the man I was, and it's probably because I'm an idiot for your love. I'm an idiot for your love. I'm an idiot for your love. Scott Maureen. Uh, next week, Lacrosse's premier DJ is going to be here on Friday night. I don't worry about it because I'm fully vaccinated. Brian Simpson, here's one of your requests. I'm not talking out of my ass I'm not telling tales out of class I'm not saying things I don't mean to say you don't believe me talking to hear my voice I can't help myself I ain't got no choice I'm not stretching the truth I never lie you don't believe me I don't know why I'm not 
not talking to myself. I'm not talking to somebody else. But you make me feel misunderstood. You don't believe me, and I wish you would. Here we go. show number 42. I love the even numbers. Let us introduce the staff that's been on all 42 shows. He's been at the soundboard for 42 times, 42 weeks, 42 Fridays and one set, 41 Fridays and one Saturday. Pipe Jim on sound, Pipe Jim. I'm going to give Pipe Jim this guitar because we're switching. I'm going to switch this guitar and play the one that's in tune probably. Let's hope. Let's hope that the other one's in. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Pipe Jim. What can I say about this next gentleman? Ever handsome. Related to the related to the O face guy. Or was that you? The ever handsome Kevin Hansen. Thank you, Kevin. Will you be playing a bunch of songs with me later on tonight? Yes, he will! <laughs> on cue cards and just generally drinking Powerade Zeros with whiskey, Mr. Brian Murphy, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Murphy. <laughs> Ian Bray Murphy May. And last but not least, keeping the glasses filled for 42 shows. The Mistress of alcohol, Bethany McCurdy. Let's hear her, Bethany McCurdy. Yesterday, last week for her birthday, Pipe Jim got her engraved mistress of alcohol glasses. <laughs> Gotta have them. We should merchandise them. If we can merchandise them, we should. But hold it, let me make a drink. What are we calling these? This, this is the cheddar bottle. This is an Iowa bottle here. And to 42 shows, number 42. The drinking, <laughs> you, the drinking word has got to be, I didn't even come up with a drinking word this week. Yeah, let's just call it shots, because I got my second one. Fully vaccinated right there. This woman is fully vaccinated. Pipe Jim, fully vaccinated. Shots, that's the word. Shots, shot, shot. Okay, let's all, do, we, three drinks, three drinks. Shot in the arm, and you're too blame. I shot the sheriff. The man who shot Liberty Vine. Mm. It's going to be tough. Thank you, Bethany. I have something really gross to do now, so you have to go back to the dressing room. Okay. Oh, lip gloss. All right. Okay, Doug Anderson, my edible eating friend in California. This is the only time I like to repeat a song after one week. I don't like to do the same songs every week, except for sex and beer. Doug asked me to do a little medley for him about his week last week. So, Doug, here goes nothing. You're nude, we're gonna have a nude party. I'm nude, you're nude, we're gonna have a nude Let's have a nude party. 
Doug's nude, Nam's nude, and Doug just took an edible. Doug's nude, Nam's nude. According to him, it was incredible. California nude party. Doug's so happy because he's getting some. Life's so snappy when you're getting some. I called my pappy because I was getting some. Everyone should be. I'm nude. You're nude. That's a too much information nude party. I'm nude. You're nude. A California nude party. Anybody ever write a song about postcoital depression? Well, I did. And Billy Berger wants to hear it. It goes, sitting on a corner of a heart-shaped bed, you're naked in the hot tub. I'm sitting on the corner of a heart-shaped bed, you're naked in the hot tub. I'm looking at the bubbles in the cheap champagne that came with the room. I'm looking at you and the silver thing that covered up the dinner that we had to bring one out of. You were too much in love. We didn't touch any of. Why won't you kiss me with an open mouth? Why do you do it with a first one? This was supposed to be our second honeymoon. Okay, we never had a first one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm sitting on a corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. Strangely enough, Billy requested this a few weeks ago for his anniversary. I don't know what's going on in your house, Billy. But I'm sitting on a corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. I'm thinking that I'd like to eat the little green mints that came with the room. I'm looking at you in the bathroom mirror and wondering what we're still doing here. When hours ago, we were not ourselves. We couldn't control ourselves. Why don't you know when I turn on the charm? Why don't you play you want me badly? Why don't you tell me I'm your son? Superman, why don't you call me your big daddy? Why is it when I get a woman like you, in the end she always shuns me? Why can't I do it like professionals do? Why do I do it so clumsy? Why won't you kiss me with an open mouth? Why do you do it with the first one? This was supposed to be our second honeymoon. Okay, we never had a first one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm sitting on the corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. Sitting on the corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. Sitting on a corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. Sitting on a corner of a heart shaped bed, you're naked in a hot tub. <laughs> Rebecca Winsell! Happy birthday from Dave! The Hindenburg, the Titanic, Mount St. Helens, and the bank panic. She's my, my disaster girl. In San Francisco, she's the fault line. On the Poseidon, she's Ernest Borgnine. My, my disaster girl. Everywhere she goes, everything goes wrong. I can keep her out of trouble, but I don't know for how long. Ooh, she's in the 
the New Testament and the old one. She's two world wars plus the cold one. I, my disaster girl. Everywhere she goes, everything goes wrong. I keep her out of trouble, but I don't know for how. Chicago Fire, Hurricane Camille, the first footstep on the first banana peel. She's my, my disaster girl. She's my, my disaster girl. She's my, my disaster girl. She's a disaster. Disaster, my, my disaster girl. Happy birthday, Rebecca. Rebecca, I, I think uh, you're probably, what, 25, 26 years old? So that means 26 shots. Sean and Danny Closey. Sean, the reason I don't play this song more often is because it's a difficult one. Late last night I was seriously drinking and I spent a long time sitting and thinking out loud. Don't know why. Talk so big, but I felt so little. I dropped my fig leaf there in the middle of a crowd. Don't know why. And almost everyone could see, see that there was something wrong with me. me. I stepped into the Greyhound. Great big head full of fear and frustration. I don't know why. I don't know why, why, why I cry, cry over you, you. But I don't know. Oh no, I don't know why. Fly the great pyramid crumbles, big girls cry, the runner never stumbles. No, nor do I. Tough guys dance on a make believe ballroom, always on a Sunday. I just want to call you home. I don't know why. I don't know what else I can do. do. It always starts and ends with you, you. Press my head on a vibrating bed in a motel six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I don't know why. night I was seriously drunk and I slithered and I slipped and I fell and I sunk to my knees. Don't know why. I woke up when somebody whispered, don't be afraid, life's full of little mysteries. And big goodbye. I don't
don't know what else I can do, do. This always starts and ends with you, you. I left my heart in the city by the river and I hope against hope that you will deliver my soul. I don't know why. the shit out of that one for you, Sean. I did. Sean, Danny, look at each other, drink a shot. This is a very enjoyable drinking word for me. Mm. I had a, I had a, uh, a Pfizer. A two, I actually had two Pfizers. Some people, you know, they prefer the 63 Moderna. I like the 2015 Pfizer. It's piquant. It's piquant. It has a good aftertaste. It's good. It has a good mouthfeel. And you know, there are people who are responsible for this show that I should, I should shout out to. You know what I mean? People who make this show possible week after week by donating money to me and thus to Pipe Jim and to Murph and to Kevin. And I got one in my other pocket. And I'm talking about Karen Reiner and Paul Hansen. Thank you, Karen and Paul. Ann and Gary Peterson. I did a lot of songs for Ann last week. Michael Hanlon and Kathy Kwiatkowski. Peggy, Steve, and Carly Brenner out there in O'Connor. Mark and Julie Degner. Bruce and Sylvia Haroldson. We say these names all the time. Mike and Jenny Conlon. Taffy Anderson. You know how much I love Taffy. Darren Bohm, of course. Darren Bohm is perfect attendance. Michael Finley was watching this show in Merida, Mexico, or as I say, as Alex Trebek, rest in peace, would say, Merida, Mexico. <laughs> to stay 41 for 41, he watched it last week in Mexico. Good way to enjoy your vacation, dude. Lori Joas is a pharmacist, and she was doing vaccinations and took time out to watch my show. Chris Anderson, no relation to Doug, I hope. She, oh, Shay Lewis. Shay Lewis. L U E S. How would you pronounce that? Lewis. And this is a good name. Hannes Venicate. Venicate. H. Uh, Hannes. Hannes, you, you're going to have to. Yeah, Venicate, we'll say. John Acerbi is watching from Portland. Laura Tucker watching from Madison. All you Madison folks, sorry about your hockey team. I don't really care about hockey that much, except for it's it's the Admirals where I where they book me two year, times a year to play. If the Badgers booked me two years to play, I would be so into Badger hockey. I'm not kidding. I would be. Whose birthday is it this week? Happy birthday, Boris Bowden. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sari, uh, Carrie Sabranek, who pays me at Oktoberfest in La Crosse. Matt, the owner of the Looking Glass in Janesville. Where I did my first live show last Wednesday. Susan Popovics of the famous Tom and Susan team in Chicago. Happy birthday, Susan! <laughs> Susan, doesn't it feel great to be uh, almost 30? You're 29 years old now, and man, a grown up woman. Carly Wallen, happy birthday. Uh, I started last week's show with your request, so I'm not doing it this week, but I will go uh, one line tonight. I want to ruin my life, Carly Wallen. Chris Prober, happy birthday. Cade Schmidt, rolling down high-low drive. Pedal to the metal in my old car. Happy birthday, Cade. Cade. Happy birthday, Kim Ang Carroll, who got her second shot this week. 
Kim and Carol and, and, and I, we are in the same little club. It's called Second Shot. Uh, Two of them, I said. Ah, that cheddar bottle's good. And last but not least, thank you, Nurse Becky. Nurse Becky, that donation was completely uh, unwarranted. But he vaccinated 100 people last week. And I'm sitting at home doing shit. <laughs> Sorry, Shane. But uh, down there in Texas, down there in Texas, you know, I might never go, I, never, I might never see Texas again in my lifetime. But I will be thinking of Mauricio. Because Mauricio remembers that there's a song I sing the week after St. Patrick's Day. And Mauricio requested that I sing this song this week. He also requested that I serve some, some Captain Crunch and shrimp or whatever it was. Lucky Charms, what was the cereal with shrimp in it? Mauricio, lend me a tanner and I'll buy you a beer. And I won't tell you how I came to be here. First thing tomorrow, I'll face up to my fears. And I won't get drunk anymore. Post St. Patrick's Day song. It's not like I get loaded every day. It's just that sometimes I get carried away. And I got a wife and kids and bills to pay. So I won't get drunk anymore. No, I won't get drunk anymore. straight and narrow I'll be upright I'll be upstanding I'll be boring Tonight the moon looks like a cotton ball The windows open at the end of the hall I hope that I'll find somewhere soft to fall Then I won't get drunk anymore no I won't get drunk anymore I said I won't get drunk anymore no I won't get drunk anymore Joe and Amy Bryan out there in Menominee Falls well, the kids are playing in an old refrigerator, your face down on the floor. Grandma's with her skinhead friends, and grandpa's blind and driving. And I can't get the toast out of here, I can't get it out. I can't get the toast out of here, but if I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. If I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. are playing in a pack of matches and a pile of oily rags. You're lying down on the operating table from carrying scissors while running. And I can't get the toast out of here. I can't get it out. I can't get the toast out of here. But if I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. If I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. Did you see that rock and roll move I just did? Yeah, this is the arm I got my shot in. Doesn't even hurt. But where was I? Was. Well, the kids are dropping out of junior high school and you're drinking beer through a straw. 
Grandpa's plotting to kill the president. Grandma's with her pimp. After me, I'm waiting for the next big bang to blow everything to bits. We all get together on Christmas Day and sing joy to the world. We all get together on Christmas Day and sing joy to the world. Fork, then I could get the toast out of here. If I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. If I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. If I had a fork, then I could get the toast out of here. Hey, 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 yeah. Let me hear y'all say yeah. Said it. I said, ooh, ooh, what? <laughs> Cheryl Andrews of Cheryl Andrews Designs. Fine acrylics. Something like that. The name Cheryl Andrews. Think of all the great people named Andrews. Julie Andrews. The hills are alive. Archie Andrews. Nemesis of Reggie Mantle. The Andrews sisters. He was a famous one for man around Chicago way. Had a boogie sound that no one else could play. He was the top man at his craft. Famous people named Andrews, but none more famous than Cheryl. Cheryl, you gave me three requests. I decided to do the most difficult one. It's all about relationships, and I hope this isn't your relationship, Cheryl. Because I can live with your makeup and your cotton balls, your perfume and your underwear. The cigarettes and the final net. No, I don't mind sticky hair. I can live with your compulsive uncleanliness. The funny smells and the cobwebs, too. But I have to admit I don't care anymore. I just can't get along with you. my nose, your toenails sticking in my legs, your lukewarm coffee and your cold black toast, your runny green scrambled eggs. We fight, but it's never resolved. Our problems never get solved. We go on and on like scum on a pond like radioactive waste in a dump we go on but we can't get along You can live with my friend spilling beer on the floor and the penthouse magazine. The bats and balls that clutter the halls and the frequent drunken scene. You can live with the fact that I'm a selfish child and the infidelity. But you have to admit you a shit you just can't get along with me you can't stand all the times that i say i will fall of course i forget you and then later on in the bedroom i stagger and fall and leave you frustrated again 
We fight, but it's never resolved. Our problems never get solved. We go on and on like scum on a pond. Like radioactive waste in a dump. We go on, but we can't get along. We go on, but we can't get along. We go on, but we can't get along. Here are the things that make me nervous. Here are the things that drive me mad. Here are the things that make me nervous. Nervous. QAnon makes me nervous. Proud Boys make me nervous. Oath Keepers make me nervous. Lauren Boebert makes me nervous. Marjorie Taylor Greene makes me nervous. Sean fucking Hannity makes me nervous. Mimes make me nervous. Carnival workers with big tattoos and millionaires who sing the blues. Those are the things that make me nervous. Those are the things stick in my crowd. Those are the things that make me nervous, nervous. People dressed in big fuzzy cartoon character costumes, that bastard, Chuck E. Cheese, and stupid whiskers, stupid buck teeth, and chew it whole, and miss a stupid fuzzy head where you can see the actual work out of mime underneath. Make me nervous. Ernest Borgnine makes me nervous. Ernie Banks make me nervous. Jill Wine Banks makes me nervous. Jill Ireland makes me nervous. Land Rovers make me nervous. Wild Rovers make me nervous. Wild Honey makes me nervous. Honey Smacks make me nervous. WWF Smackdown makes me nervous. Hugh Downs makes me nervous. Hugh, 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 Hugh Beaumont makes me nervous. Beaumont, Beaumont, Mont Monty Hall makes me nervous. Hall and Oates make me nervous. Oat Meal makes me nervous. Malto Meal makes me nervous. Malt. Malted milk balls make me nervous. Sweaty balls make me nervous. Sweaty. Sweaty balls. I'll just go back to balls. Ball and chain makes me nervous. Chain letters make me nervous. Letters to Cleo makes me nervous. Cleo Patra makes me nervous. Pat, Patra, 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 Patrick, Stevens, Patrick makes me nervous. Steven Sondheim makes me nervous. Hit him with a hind makes me nervous. Hit, hit, hit or miss make me nervous. Missy Elliott. Makes me nervous. Chris Elliott. Makes me nervous. Chris Kringle. Makes me nervous. Danish Kringle. Makes me nervous. Dane Cook. Makes me nervous. Cook, Cook. The Cookie Monster. Makes me nervous. Monster Trucks. Make me nervous. Trucker, Trucker. 
Trucker hats make me nervous. Hat tricks are a term in hockey. And if they invited me to play for the Badgers, I'd be such a huge fan. Trick or treat makes me nervous. Treat Williams makes me nervous. William Penn makes me nervous. Pennsylvania makes me nervous. Sylvain, Sylvain makes me nervous. You're so vain, make me nervous. You're so, you're so, you're. Josh and Jenny from Kenosha make me nervous. Millionaires who sing the blues and all that shit. Those are the things that make me nervous. Those are the things. I think nervous, nervous, I'm so nervous, I'm real nervous, I just want, I just, I just want to die. Oh, uh, April out there in Vegas. I've done everything I can. Just to keep you here, sort of slitting my wrist or chopping off my ear. But I won't cry if you say goodbye. I'll just start all over again. Well, I went to a church. I answered Jesus' call. They were speaking in tongues, and my flesh began to crawl. I praised the Lord in the psycho ward, and then I start all over again. Start all over again. Start all over again. I'm gonna stop my engines and flap my wings. Get far away from all those things that bother me. You included. I might be desperate, but I'm not deluded. Cause there may come a time when you want me again. I'll be sleeping somewhere with a friend of a friend. I'll just laugh and I'll take you back. We can start all over again. Start all over again. Start all over again. I'm gonna stop my engines and flap my wings. Far away from all those things that bother me. You included. I might be desperate, but I'm not deluded. Cause there may come a time when you want me again. I'll be sleeping somewhere with a friend of a friend of a friend. And I'll just laugh and I'll take you back and we can start all over again. Start all over again. Start all over. Start all over. Excellent requests this week, huh? Well, most of them are excellent. Let me drink a, let me have another drink. Let me take another shot. Ah. Yeah. Well, I got to wait for him to come back. She'd look at the set sleeve. Yeah, you, Mr. Attacking Peru. I don't know what the hell you were thinking. It's Joe Hip's birthday, ladies and gentlemen. A special birthday present because I'm fully vaccinated. Joe Hip is in my living room. Uh, Joe Hip, come up and show yourself and cover your face. Well, you, just put your hand over your face. Yeah. You're not going to be up here that long, and I'm fully vaccinated. Joe Hip, ladies and gentlemen. Get the hell out of here, because I'm about to sing a song that you requested that's really hard. It goes like this. 
If I get to heaven, I hope they got something to drink. I hope everybody's cool, nobody's raising a stink. I hope my friends are there, having a good time, drinking some cheap wine, feeling all right. And if my friends are there, you know a miracle happens, and they'll all be clapping when I step into the light. If I get to heaven, I hope the music's loud. I hope I'm not the only dancer in the whole damn crowd. And if my friends are there, yeah, I told you this is such a hard song. I played this song exactly four times. How Joe Hip knows it, I do not know. But it goes, I hope my friends are there. Having a party to end all party. I hope they're getting down. And if my friends are there, I hope they're trying out new things. Wearing out their new wings, angels flapping around. If I get to heaven, if I get, if I get to heaven, I hope the hotel is nice with a bathrobe, mini bar. And a bucket of ice. I hope my friends are there and they're staying on the same floor. That's what we came for to be together again. And if my friends are there, I hope they're drunk on their asses <laughs> and raising their glasses. We did way back when. If I get to heaven, yeah. If I get to heaven, I hope I'm not by myself. I hope those whack job evangelicals are somewhere else. I hope my friends are there, although they don't do much praying, and they rather would be staying down here a few more days. But if my friends are there, only they don't let jerks in, cause he or she works in such mysterious ways. If I get to heaven. Joe Hip is going to be there. Oh, Kate. Kate's going to be there. Mark and Patty. If I get to heaven. Fifth time's a charm for that one, huh? Yes, I played that song exactly four times and about 20 years ago. Yeah, about 20, at least 20 years ago. This next song I'm doing for Rod out there in California. I mean, Colorado. Rod out there. Rod in Colorado. I, I had to do this one after the Joe Hip request because if I really... Really messed up the Joe Hip song. Wasn't that polite of me, Shane? I was able. I would be able to do this next song, which I think is like my top one of my top five. Okay. It's kind of sad, but happy at the same time. Off yikes! Ten years in the blink of an eye. 
You turned around and you told me goodbye and you got on a train. I didn't see you again till now. Ten years in the blink of an eye. Even now I'm wondering why I just stood in the rain. I got home but I don't know how. Where does the time go? Where does the time go? Where does the time go? It goes flying by in the blink of an eye. Ten years in the beat of a heart. How long have we been apart? I know it's insane, but the feelings remain the same. Ten years in the beat of a heart. I see your face and the memories start to hurt all over again. And then you call my name. Oh, where does the time go? We were young, we had our moments in the sun. Ten years in the blink of an eye, here we are now, you and I, we're together again. Doing what we were meant to do. Ten years in the blink of an eye. Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up high. Play the old songs for me. I play the old songs for you. Oh, where does the time go? Where does the time go? Where does the Time go It goes by and by in the blink of an eye. It goes by and by in the blink of an eye. It goes by and by in the blink of an eye. It goes by and by in the blink of an eye. Sad yet happy. Yes. And you know, a really happy part of the show is about to start right now. I'm going to put this guitar down and pick up my mandolin. In fact, I'll give this guitar to the ever handsome Kevin Hansen. It's not Kevin's fault. <laughs> According to Kimmy, nothing is Kevin's fault. She thinks he's so perfect. <laughs> what, what a dick he is. <laughs> Sorry, Shane. It's their fault. It's their fault, okay? You know, I want to talk about Paul Marker right now. For weeks, I, I don't know, months, I've been saying Paul and Lara Marker. Am I right? Have you, have you heard that, right? They're from Madison, I believe, and they've been donating and requesting songs. Turns out Lara, Laura, Lara, 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 is not Lara, Lara Marker. 
It's Lara Collier. So I'm so sorry. He didn't tell me. He didn't tell me. So Paul, I still like you. I still, I still, I, I'm Team Lara right now. But this is also this song is also going to be for uh, Pam and Corey. Pam and Corey Melkars, my Clark Graphics friends. We don't even have our, our Clark Graphics out here. It's a little mandolin action. Oh, it's all underneath. We don't need that sign anymore right now. We'll get a new one. I'll pay for a new one, Corey. This is a song that gets requested every week. It's from my new CD, and uh, that looks like that. That's a giant version. That's the giant version. That's the EP. So this is one of the most requested songs, and I don't know. Well, I know why because it's it's uh, so lovely. because I've had a few drinks. That was for Paul. No, that was not for Paul. That was for Lara. 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 Please tell me how to pronounce that name too, all right? And it was for Corey on his birthday. And this next song I've never played on the mandolin before. This is for Marianne Newman. Newman. Expect everyone to sing it with me. Everyone sing it with me. Here we go. I was afraid to go out in the city. Oh man, I understand. I was feeling so blue and so shitty. Oh man, I understand. And I stood in the shower just singing. And I felt like the world's last 
survivor. Watching reruns of Chips and MacGyver. Oh man, I understand. Oh man, do I understand? I understand that some days are good, some days are boring, and some are just good. Especially these when you're. <laughs> I never played this on the mandolin before. <laughs> Let's try that again. I understand that some days are good, some days are boring. Oh, okay, let's try it again. <laughs> I'm nervous because they're different chords. I understand that some days are good, some days are bad, some days are boring, and some are just sad. Especially these when you're not. practiced this before the show. <laughs> so I'll wait for you to come save me. Oh man, I understand I won't join the Marines of the Navy. Oh man, I understand. And tonight we'll hear music and laughter. It was a first. It was a first. That's a lot of chord changes on the mandolin. Aunt Dorothy! Dorothy! And Dorothy, this is a, a first as well. Uh, this is a. Let's get together and knock things over. Let's get together and wiggle around. Let's get together and knock things over. I love to see things falling down. There goes the clock, a glass of water, we can't stop, although we ought to, cause we're going to get a shot when the clock hits wet. Hey, there goes our remote from the TV sets. Let's get together and knock things over. Let's get together and wiggle around. Let's get together and knock things over. I love to see things falling down. There goes a lamp. There goes the table, the radio, the TV cable. And when this little bed starts to shake too much, there goes an asterisk full of cigarette butts. And while this room goes up in flames, we're going to shake the fixtures right out of their place. Let's get together and knock things over. Let's get together and wiggle around. Let's get together and knock things over. I love to see things falling down.
Let's get together and knock things over. Let's get together and wiggle around. Let's get together and knock things over. I love to see things falling down. Let's get together and knock things over. Let's get together and wiggle around. Let's get together and knock things over. I love to see things falling down. I love to see things falling down. I love to see things falling down. Knock things over. Ever handsome be rocking. Of work, wasn't it? On fire. Look in the dictionary under on fire, and you will see a picture of the ever handsome Kevin Hansen and me. Who else, who else though is responsible for this show? It's not just me, it's not just Kevin or Piper Murph. Jarrett Bednar, thank you for donating. Mary Beardsley Keller, I love your name, it's hyphenated. Matt Hendrickson, a week after week. Derek Mosher, Stevens Patrick got in a song tonight. Elizabeth Gallinger, David Coulthurst, da David Coulthurst, Coulth, whatever. Emily Joe, two first names, you know I love that too. Lars Grabo, uh, Lynn Fuller, uh, related to Bobby Fuller. Breaking her rocks in the box. Jody Franzen, thank you very much. Lori Lancer, Austin Slauson. Yeah, you gotta love that name too. Uh, if they lived on a uh, South Side street, it could be Austin Slauson on Rawson. Rachel Hart, thank you very much. Monica Hall, our favorite DA. Jared Fringer, 41 for 41. Jared. Richard Sullivan, the Sullivans. Dan and Lisa Elias. Yeah, if we're in the garage, they'll be there. Dave Schroeder, thank you very much, and thank you for letting me know how to pronounce your name. Eric Brock from uh, on San Francisco. You're probably, he will stop watching because he's a doctor. He has to work now. You know, what the hell? Uh, Katie Denlinger, Linda Lehman, Marisa Rogers wanted me to sing, It might be Tuesday, I don't know. But I did that last week. Todd Harrett, Todd Harrett wanted me to play a song on the mandolin. I don't know which one he means. Does he mean, it's cold outside, I forgot my coat, a great white shark, or does he mean, I'm all right, I'm okay, shall we rock this town tonight? I don't know which one you wanted, Todd Harrett. It, either one is too hard on the mandolin. I had a lot of trouble tonight on that mandolin. Jan and Doug out in San Francisco, every time I see your name, I'm happy. Mauricio, oh, we already did a song for you, Mauricio. Dave Hallbrooks and... Uh, Mike Mlaziva is watching this show with Oka. Oko, I mean. Mike Mlaziva and Oko are watching this. Uh, where are they watching it? They told me where they're going to be watching. Not Belgium, but uh, some, uh, I don't know, some town up there. So thank you very much for donating. You are all so generous. I would just like to say that we are going to do weekly shows right through the end of April. And then one per month all summer long. So we will not let you down even if you're vaccinated like me. And you're wondering, where's the new song? Well, it's right here. Bleary eyes and weary thighs and lies out of control. You commit to take a trip down the rabbit hole. Anxieties, conspiracies, lunatics, and trolls. When you decide to take a ride down the rabbit hole, down you go. Where everything fades into black. And I don't think you'll ever come back. Your brain 
will fry inside you'll die that's happy you'll probably lose your soul when you begin to chase the wind down the rabbit hole you find a link another link and then you think it's done go by you wonder why your life stopped being fun your life stopped being fun evil schemes and fever dreams can really take their toll when you consent to go where alice went down the rabbit hole to black down you go and I don't think you'll ever come back evil schemes and fever dreams can really take their toll when you consent to go where Alice went down the rabbit hole when you consent to go where Alice went down the rabbit hole Consent to go where Alice went down the rabbit hole. A long night, a lot of firsts in this show tonight. We're rocking. I guess I can call it quits. I think I did my part, but I haven't done a song for the Shower family out in Arizona yet. I better do that now. The bottom of the barrel has been scraped. My adult personality's been shaped. Every Suzette has been craped. I guess my work is done. There are no more battles to be fought. No more big ideas to be fought. No more bad diseases to be caught. I guess my work is done. And now I can get back to you. And we can do what it is that we do. Every resolution is resolved. Every revolution has revolved. The mystery of life and death is solved. I guess my work is done. Pretty sure there's nothing that I missed. I'm glad that all the charges were dismissed. I guess my work is done. not done yet because there's a man named Michael Falk he said I want to come to your living room and sing but if I can't come to your living room and sing and you can't Michael he want me to have someone portray him on stage ladies and gentlemen one of the finest actors in the entire Midwest 
star of stage and screen, Brian Murphy as Michael Falk. like this. In fact, I know I'll never have another night like this. It seems to me it could easily be all downhill from here. So, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 I don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. go I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. I don't want to Just be lying wide awake there in my bed. Worst case scenarios in my head. But here we are together and we're out of our minds. I don't ever want the night to end. Come on, Michael. I don't want to go. Yeah, 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 I want to go. I don't want to go home. Switch parts. I don't want to go. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go home. I said no, 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 no. No one can make me go back there. No, 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 no. No one can make me go back there now. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go home. Michael Falk. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go Put home. Put it together. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brian Murphy as Michael Falk. Thank you, Brian. Excellent acting because, well, I'm at home. I'm at home right now, but I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home. Until I say thank you for everybody who watched this show tonight. How many do we have? Over 300? Not bad. All I'm saying is, I don't want to go home. And I want to remind you to listen because after this show is done, we'll be playing my new song available for streaming and for, for purchase on Monday. Until then, I don't want to go home. I until I'm surrounded by lovely ladies and I'm singing sex and beer. Until I'm surrounded by lovely ladies plus Joe Hip in the corner. St. Paul in his letter to the Ephesians said it came to me upon a midnight glare. He said I finished writing all of my gospel. Now all I seem to want is sex and pain. Mark Antony looked down on Caesar's body. He said, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I did not come here to praise Caesar. I came here for sex and beer. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. The two things we hold dear. Sex and beer, sex and beer are the things we like around here. Oh no. George Washington.
George Christensen, he never crossed the Delaware. There was no midnight ride with Paul Revere. Ben Franklin never discovered electricity. They were too busy looking for sex and beer. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. Are the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. Are the things we like around. Shot. Every time. Now Charles Dickens gave us great expectations. Shakespeare gave us Hamlet and King Lear. Dostoevsky gave us crime and punishment. Who the hell is gonna give us sex and beer? Sex and beer. Sex and beer. Are the t sex and beer. Rocking too hard, are we? Now from the city to the suburbs to the country, from the southern to the northern hemisphere, they're holding a tremendous referendum and spilling Pat's drink, and everybody's choosing sex and beer. Sex and Two things we hold there. Sex and bear, sex and bear are the things we like around here. We like sex and bear and sex and bear, Joe Hip and bear and sex and bear. Thank you, everybody. See you next week. First show in April. Bye bye. You get your hopes up, sometimes they shatter, but in the long run, what does it matter? Shoot.